what's going on YouTube <laughs> I haven't made a video in a while I said a lot anyway I'm making a video today because my camper is in the shop again my uh, Vista Cruiser um, there's a leak in the black tank so I dropped it off and they gave me a loner camper so this is a tour basically of the loner camper kind of bored it's Friday night kind of drunk so let's take a look at this camper so the funny thing about this is if you guys watch my videos from like years and years ago the first camper that I got was a Shasta and then so when I called them last week because they had to wait for the rental it's a rental well it's what they rent out but they're loaning it to me while mine is in the shop so it's basically a rental but a comp rental sense I told them, I was like, I'm living in my camper pretty much now again. And my lease ended in July. So I needed something to stay in. So like, they were like, let me talk to the owner. And the owner was like, absolutely. It'll be in this week. You can use it um, until we get yours done. So this is the tour. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I had a Shasta. It was like a 1970s something. I don't remember what it was, but uh, there's the videos of it. It, it was uh, it was old, and I paid like 50 or 75 bucks for it. Nothing worked, and it had to run an extension cord in. But that's why I kind of like thought tonight I'd do a video on it, on this this Shasta, because it's a Shasta. So they gave me a Shasta. So whatever. Anyway, let's take a tour. So it's a. She has the 21 CK. And it's actually like almost 26 feet long. It's got, let's see, my camper has a 30 pound or a 30 gallon freshwater tank. This is like a 46. And uh, it just has more everything. But it's actually pretty big. And so this thing doesn't have a slide. But other than that, let's take an outside tour and an inside tour real quick. I don't want to make it too long. So here we go. <clears throat> so here she is. So it's got windows in the back on all sides. Oh, it's dual axle. It weighs like 4,000 empty, uh, like 7,000 loaded. Um, it's got a power awning. It's aluminum, so it's kind of like my old camper, my Dutchman was, so. My new camper is not aluminum, so I did not want to get an aluminum camper again. But this thing is pretty massive compared to mine. And it really doesn't weigh a lot, it towed great. I towed it with uh, my boss's Denali um, 1500 today and it was fine. I mean, it leaned a lot down in the front cause it's just so tall. It's a lot taller than mine. Like you had to climb into this thing, but it has solid steps. It has awning lights and yeah. Power tongue jack, 20 pound tanks. It's pretty much kind of like mine. Like it has the same microwave, same oven etc it has the same hot water tank electric and gas so i'll walk in do a quick tour you know so you gotta climb into this thing compared to mine like it's like eh, it's a lot taller so walking in it's a wreck i don't really have a lot of things i just brought the basics with me so i got my let's slam that door i got my destroyed bed this would be my first night in it and it's got you know blackout curtains which is what i need to get installed in my camper i might have them do that while it's there and really thin bed mirrors so it's, it's a little bit wider than my camper because it's a full full wide and then the bathroom is right here in the middle it's got dual sinks which we'll go here first i guess and it has a sprayer I need to get one of these in my camper too. Like that thing is great. Um, it's got the same oven, same microwave storage up here. And then the bathroom is a little bit bigger than mine, obviously. So it's got, I like this toilet more so far. It's got the same sink, but it has um, non-plastic faucet. So, and then it's got a bigger shower. So this will be a little easier tonight. But, yeah, I mean, it's not bad at all. It has 
right here is the onboard and it comes on it's like motion detected so it tells you all your levels your electric or um, gas hot water same thing it's just a little bit more like touch screen ish and then in the back is the dinette which has a dinette and a couch it has a 12 volt fridge so this thing is awesome I wish that was in mine storage more storage that turns into a bed that turns into a bed I just like the couch because it's more comfortable but I've got windows on all sides so here's my pickup and I got my gaming laptop whiskey it's Friday night yeah it's the same exact oven and stove the same exact microwave but uh yeah, I just wanted to make a video about it because I was I looked at videos and, and so Shasta is made by Forest River now I don't think that was the how they always were. I think they got bought out a long time ago, but this one has like the lighter white paneling. It has blackout shades on all sides, which I really need to get on my camper because I got gray shades, like just like these, but it don't block out enough light, so. But yeah, so I got a loaner. I don't know how long it's gonna be until my camper gets done. I dropped it off today. They got it right in, but then they're gonna have to order the tank. The black tank had a leak on the top of it, I guess. I noticed it at the campground, so. Yeah, the RV dealer, Happy Campers, they've been great. Um, they basically loaned me a rental until my camper's done, so I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, so this is my first night in it. I don't I don't know yet. I do know the bed is, n is not even close to, uh, so my bed's like, shit, like two foot thick. Well, this thing's gonna be interesting to sleep on. Like, even my semi bed is more comfortable, but I didn't really sleep in it yet. I mean, this is my first night. I just kind of sat on it and laid on it for a second, but you know, we'll see how that goes. But, you know, this is the tour of the 2022 Shasta 21 CK, I believe. I might have said that in the beginning of the video, but I'm kind of drunk and I'm kind of enjoying my night. I'm gonna go try out a shower in here and see how that goes, but we'll see, so. But yeah, I figured I'd show you. And this thing feels like <laughs> ginormous compared to mine. Um, mine's a 19 CSK Gulfstream, and it's a lot lower to the ground. You don't have to like climb up into it, but yeah, you just feel a lot higher up, and I don't know. But so far, so good. So I really like the sinks. I really like the bathroom, and I definitely like the the uh, the faucet in here. I'm gonna have to have them install me something like that in my camper because I think it's amazing. And it has dual sinks, so you can wash in one and rinse in the other if you wanted to. But yeah, so far so good. So pretty nice of them to loan me this while mine's getting fixed. Like it's pretty cool. So all right, thanks for watching. That's a just a quick update and slight review. Uh, see you in the next one.